everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. And on the last episode, we finished the Hearts of Stone expansion. We did, and we have yet to begin Blood and Wine. Now, I, well, I wanted to do kind of an in-between episode since I uh, want to really commit to Blood and Wine when we start, but I don't want to start that without taking care of a few things first. Specifically, I want to make sure that we craft um, the armors from Hearts of Stone that we never got to. Specifically, even if we don't really use it that much, um, I want to craft the Ophiri set, and I want to craft the Viper set that we got all the, all the stuff for. Now, I missed the sword, and a couple of you told me where it was. And, god damn it, of course, it was... <laughs> It was in that other world that Gaunter teleported us to when we challenged him in, at the end. Now, it was off to the side somewhere in another one of those like red light locations. And obviously, because of the timer... And running around, I'm just like, oh god. And I missed it. I missed it. I didn't go in the direction where it was. So, um, if, if it is good, I will totally, I will totally go back, go get it, so we have it. <laughs> but as of right now, I don't have it, and that's the reason. Which is like, it's interesting that they put it there, but also like... Damn. <laughs> you know? But, anyway. So, a couple things. I have been... I have been blessed with information from some of you about some, some good farming locations for experience points and some good locations to uh, get some money. Now, I have been... I've taken some real solid time to do that. And now we sit at just over level 40. That took forever. And 135,000 crowns. That's a lot. And also at the same time, probably not that much. There's probably, I mean, so you guys said, like, million crowns you can get, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, now, I don't know if that's really what the cost sinks are going to be in Blood and Wine, but if, if it ends up being, I'm going to get that money. We're going to get that money. <laughs> so, first things first. And I wanted to, I wanted to save all the stuff for, you know, for the, for the video, so... Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Now, we're gonna craft. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Okay. Now, the first thing that we're gonna craft is the Ophiri set. We're gonna craft the Viper set right afterwards. We have all the stuff for it. And we will. Hold on. Uh. Oh, woven armor. Okay, that's different. Sorry, I thought it was. I thought that was a different thing. The Ophiri scale armor. It's good. It's an upgrade. Nice. And then we'll get the boots. Ophiri boots. Gauntlets. What do we need? Emerald dust. Which we can get by dismantling an emerald. If we do this. Yeah. See? All worth having. All worth having all those gems. 
Nice. And then the trousers. Ophiri Sharavari. Char like, it's crazy that, that the pants and everything are infused with these, these dusts. It's real, real fancy. Now, I don't think... I think the Ophiri set was just the, uh, just the armors. I don't think there were swords with them. Take care now. However, we do have our beautiful saber, Iris, which I love it. It looks great. I love the size of the handle. Like, it looks like a sturdy, a sturdy blade. So, now, Let's put it on. Hot damn. Wow. That looks great. Oh my god. That looks so cool. Like, it is very fancy, but it is sturdy. It's very nice. I love the gauntlets. And they have, like, that... The, uh... Like, the armor on the outsides. This is nice. This is like nice, nice. God damn. Man, I wish we could have had this in during during Hearts of Stone. Man, Our it looks so good. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? And I just I love the glasses. I keep saying it. But I just do. They look great. Now, I don't know if we're going to keep them on forever. And if you guys get tired of seeing them, just like, you know, shout out. <laughs> then, you know. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Okay. Now, let's craft the Viper set. Now, I don't know if we're going to have all the parts to it, but damn it, we're going to do it anyway. Whatever it costs. Whatever we have to do. Viper armor, which is still a plus 10 above the Ophiri set. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Viper boots. And obviously, School of the Viper, resistance to poisoning. Though we don't get poisoned that much. And I don't know if uh, Blood and Wine is going to deal with a lot of poison. But... We're going to be prepared either way. Gauntlets. And the trousers. Viper trousers, what do we need? Hardened leather and cured draconid leather. Cured draconid leather. Do we need just the one? Cool. And there we go. Making... It is nice having so much money after all this time. Take care. You know? And just being able to just get what we need to get. Obviously, I'm still gonna like craft things if we can, versus just buying them, like well, I just did. <laughs> but, you know, still. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Damn, it's just crazy. It's crazy how much an improvement that is. Oh, okay. Gloves. Pants. Boots. Armor. Whoa, ho, ho, shit. Oh my god. Is that. They look like. They're like snake scales. Hold on. I gotta get to a. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. That's so. Slick looking. 
It's like the set that we started with at the beginning of the game, except darker. And like, you look dangerous. <laughs> well, um... That's so badass. So, will you brew the bird up? It's so cool. <laughs> I'd be afraid of uh, poisoning myself. God damn. Tis the only <laughs> Makes Hell me yeah. Trying to grip me. Fucking sick. Okay. We're carrying a lot of weight now, right? No, not really. Less than I thought. Okay, now. We got the we got the diagram to craft the Viper sword. But I think it was the steel sword. Which I don't know if we want to. Because we already have this amazing, beautiful blade. Named Iris. Ooh, it's plus one. But plus 75% crit hit damage bonus. And chance to poison. Oh, man. I know we could craft it, too. I know we could. But I like... I like the Iris blade. It's nice. Do we have a better silver sword possible? The negotiator. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a big improvement. Uh We have a lot that are stronger realistically. But I really feel like, yeah, the best, the best silver sword for us right now would have been the Viper one. <laughs> Which is like, oh, of course, of course I missed that one. But. Okay. Well. Now. Because I, I didn't do it yet. Because I wanted wanted to save it just like everything else we are gonna go visit right. the rune right and the the get him upgraded to the uh to the max to his to his Don't most to, the <laughs> to his final form <laughs> so we're you. gonna pop over there we're gonna give him all of the money you because even if we don't really use him much, like, in Blood and Wine, like, direct interaction, having them is still really good. And I love the effects, so I am incredibly invested to invest. You know what I mean? So... We're gonna just, uh pop on over here real real easy say hi to our friend and now I'm not gonna sell the Ophiri set even if I don't use it I'm just gonna throw it in the stash because it is cool you just want to change outfits but this this set this set is, is so good there's another set that we gotta go around and find that some of you actually pointed out. They're at the question marks, so gotta hunt those. The world's never ending creation be praised. Here we go. Got a bit more coin for you. Better be all you need. <laughs> for tools it is enough, but ingredients rare also I recall. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> now let me see what my coins bought. Uh Nope, nope, sorry. <laughs> We're not doing that again. Now have I all I require. Damn. Sure about that? My running costs to cover small sums will suffice. And no more rare stones do I need. Almost too good to be true. A cask of wine from the homeland I have. Our mutual success we should toast. Your health. For your aid... I thank you. My newest creations to examine you may wish. Invited you are to do so. Great. 
because realistically this is a big improvement craft something for me would you let's see what let's see filters let's just look at level threes like these are the newest ones we got when at maximum vitality, any vitality regeneration turns into added damage on your next strike. Each unblocked blow increases potion duration time. So... Every time we get hit, or every time we hit them? Or both. Either way... They, they need the greater stones? Oh, sh oh, gee, okay. We got some crafting to do. After you cast a sign, an adrenaline point is consumed and your next sword attack is charged with the power of that sign. Oh, that sounds wild. Because of the way the different signs work, those strikes could be <laughs> incredible. All equipped armor, our armor items are treated as light armor. Greater glyphs. Oh, jeez. Yep. I mean, obviously, better, better glyphs, better, you know, better rune, better enchantments. Uh, cost more. Foes set alight by Igni will explode when they die. <laughs> And ignite nearby foes. Yo, that's cool. When an opponent influenced by Axie dies, the effect transfers to a nearby target. The effect's duration increased by two seconds for each blow the affected target lands. Nice. You have a 30% chance of returning a portion of damage received to the attacker. Well, god damn. Let's see. And then this was the level twos. Fatal blows dealt with your sword give us 0.1 to 0.25 adrenaline points. That's right. I love this one. It's so good. It really is. We gotta make some of these things, though. Like, for real. I don't have... I'm missing, like, something on all of them. So. We need... Let's... Okay. Realistically, let's... Let's pick one. This one has that. I'm gonna keep that, because that's great. Now, Iris needs one. Hmm... Oh, so the level... Th oh, it's in order. So the bottom ones are the lowest. And I also now... I now see the, uh, the icons, too. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Moral each unblock blow increases potion duration time. That's probably pretty good. But at maximum vitality... This is great in combination with... Quen, obviously, and the uh, decoctions, because then it's just damage output. <laughs> After you cast a sign, adrenaline point is consumed, and your next sword attack is charged. I really just, I really want to try this one. Like, really. But what do we got? Love for the armors, because these are. Uh, let's see. So I want to use the level 3s. I'm determined to get some of these. <laughs> foes are let by Igni explode when they die and ignite nearby foes. That's good for groups. If it's just one enemy, it doesn't really mean... It doesn't really matter. This is great for group, group situations. Um, I kind of thinking... Retribution or Levity? 
because this because the viper armor is medium armor but if it could be treated as light armor then that just boosts our our stamina recovery but does it affect how much damage we take that's the question well, no, because it doesn't affect the stats, it just affects, like, the, the classification of the armor. Okay, so we need two glyphs of reinforcement and a glyph of mending. I want to be able to do both. I don't think I can craft those. Yeah, I got the greater glyphs of those. Do you sell the greater glyphs? He does! Hooray. Good god, that's expensive. <laughs> um, let's... Let's do that. I mean, this, I got the money for a reason. God damn it. Might as well use it. Oh, are these all the... Okay, I really gotta I really should buy all these. I was a little too quick on that one. Oof. It's okay. I'm gonna go get more money in between in between this episode and when we start Blood and Wine. So we will be financially prepared. <laughs> promise Ooh. okay okay here's what's gonna happen <laughs> I really like this one <laughs> and this one's really cool too but this would this would mean I'd have to actually take the damage but it returns it when I take it if I'm constantly staying on guard with Quen. Uh, if they hit the shield, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. It kind of negates everything. And this would really just be for stamina. I'm going to do retribution. You guys let me know if I should have done something else and I will if you think a better a better option is out there. Let me know. Uh, let's see. Uh, each block blow. That I feel like is a really good one. I mean, this is also really good, but potion duration time would be great. Need a greater Svarog. Can I craft that? Uh, maybe? No. Wait. I can. Yes. Cool. That's what I'm gonna do. Hell yeah. Sweet. That's the plan. There we go. Okay, I didn't expect... Well, no, I planned for this this episode to be very crafty because of that. Thanks. So long. Well, like, look at that. God damn. That's a, soft game. That's a setup. That's nice. Jeez. They've got a whole operation now. <laughs> Hooray! I agree. Hooray. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be jumping around a little bit for a minute. Because <laughs> uh, a couple of you suggested in... At the beginning of Hearts of Stone, before Hearts of Stone started, and even more recently, um, 
about this, the, the new moon set, and you, you guys are giving me the, uh, the coordinates. So, we're gonna go around, collect the pieces. Apparently they're not diagrams, they're actually just the pieces of gear. So, yeah, that's what we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go piece them together. Now, obviously I don't know if they're gonna be able to compete with these sets, but... But you said they're a good. You guys said they're a good set anyway, which is just worth having in general. Oh. God damn. Oh. God. Jeez. Oh, it's so much stamina. It's nice. Oh, it recovers so fast. Look, look at that. Oh my god. This is... I have been having to survive. I mean, it was a good set. Don't get me wrong. Like, the air sign set. Like, goddamn. I could take some... I can take some hurt with that thing. But... Still. Hey! Cool, this was... Bringing them home. Nice. You're welcome. Cool. <laughs> now... Let's see. What do you say? Chill. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. What do you got? Oh. Not a lot. Wanna say does he wanna buy something, but And so I know this is like this is the new moon set, but like the one we're going for is different. It's a different set, and apparently it's better. So I understand that there is a difference. Farewell. Is that a is that ship just like sailing out there? Huh. Interesting. I wonder if we can go over to it. But apparently there's a piece inside here. Okay. Upstairs, probably. Ironic that it's right here. The island where we were, where we crashed, the beginning of Hearts of Stone. Oh, it's a relic. Damn, what's that? Two fifteen, and this one's one ninety-five. Wow, that's a difference. Does it look? It's pretty, pretty much the same look. However, stats are severely better. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the look of that set, so I probably will be. I probably will use it. Oh God. Like, I don't know why my reaction is to jump off. I want to. But I also see, uh, on the mini-map, there's still land down there. And I don't know if I'm going to get the distance to do it. <laughs> oh, God. So... Mm. Don't do it. Don't do it.
No, let me jump off. I was, I was so prepared. The game is like fucking no. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. It's smarter because really, the odds are, I would have fallen off by accident. So really, it was. It's a, it's a smart thing that the game's like, yeah, not this time. Not this time. Okay. Oh no, man! Why you? He's just not even putting anything together. Just nail. He's just putting a nail inside it. Oh, maybe that's not why it's not working, man. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so go to the castle, and then we go to the ruins that are south. I don't know how far south. It, oh, yep. Move it to the east. And then, okay, okay, these are the ruins. It's here somewhere. And also, looks really ancient. And there's a bandit camp. Oh boy. I have all the fun today. Sweet. So let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. What's this one? Uh, weapon charges with energy during combat when its color changes red. So. Cool. And each unblocked blow increases potion duration time. Give me no choice. Die. Die. Oh. Me, oh, there's the charge. Ah. Oh. Not good. Okay. All right, we'll get these guys. No, I don't have the big. I don't have the big whirl, which maybe that's probably better to use, just because. just too strong. They don't live long enough to actually... <laughs> they don't live long enough for us to actually utilize. Execution. Nope. <sighs> Unfortunately, my guy... That's about the end for you. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh? Master Ulrich's orders? The one in charge. <laughs> to Antoine Fail. Clearly, elven, elven ruins of all valuable artifacts. Once that's done, put fire to that rubbish heap and burn it to the ground. Regarding your question about the elven manuscripts you discovered, hand over the diagram during the next change of patrols. Our armor smith will set about deciphering it. M. So, here's the thing. I don't know if M was actually, uh... Master Mirror. Like, it could be. Sure. But I don't know. And especially now, at the end of it all, I really don't know. Because... We haven't really gotten a conclusion. And I don't know if there's a way to get a conclusion. Like... If we... If we go through all the bandit camps that are with the Flaming Rose, do we find out? I don't know. 
elegant letter. Sarim. Interesting. What is this elegant letter? To be delivered personally to the hands of the Honorable Knight, Sir Antoine Fail. Fail. Our unusual partnership has brought me enormous pleasure. I trust Sir Knight finds himself in good health. I've cataloged the last shipment of elven sculptures and sold the entire lot at once. As per our agreement, find attached the bill of accounts for our most recent transactions. Sculpture, fire, 300 crowns, minus 35% transaction fee. Oh my god, that's so much. So, what is it, 300 crowns, then 430, 500. Become, okay. After all those, sadly I was unable to finalize the sale of Pietas by Mikel Angelach. Angelach. To Brandon & Co. Inc. The company sued for a detriment of the sale due to some claimed financial difficulties. Rumors around town claim the firm's senior partner was robbed in broad daylight by some white-haired sick <laughs> witcher. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But for obvious reasons, I did not agree to prolong the payment period. The messenger with the earrings will present himself at the agreed upon spot. I patiently, impatiently await the next transport. Yaramir E. Carstairs. <laughs> so, wait. The company, Brandon & Co., have gone into financial difficulty because some white-haired witcher robbed them in broad daylight. <laughs> Is that... Was... Was that the guys with the warehouse? That brain in the company sounds so familiar. Like... The, it has to be the guy with the warehouse. It has to be. Like, the only one... There... It just... I'm pretty sure... Brandon and company... Because it robbed in broad daylight. I'm pretty sure that was the asshole that turned Triss in when we were doing the, uh... The rat extermination. For his warehouse. And... Of course, you know, he not only doesn't give us the money, but he turns her in. And it's like, wow, you piece of shit. <laughs> Ugh. And so, it's funny that they weren't able to complete the sale because he was robbed in broad daylight, apparently. <laughs> uh, I mean, did we rob him? No, we took what we were owed. That's... that's what we did. Damn it. <laughs> okay, can, oh yeah. Just go this way. So they really... They really broke this place apart just so they could... They started selling statues from here? Okay, I gotta... There we go. Huh. Yeah. It's weird that I could loot that. <laughs> There's a tree. Oh, a chest. Is this our one? Yeah. New moon boots. Hell yeah. Well, so now, I can confidently put the new this new moon away. Keep this one. Switch it around. Hell yeah. Alright, now, we gotta go to the next spot. Because I think there's... There's no, there's no weapons for this. It's just the, it's just the really cool set, so... Well, now I gotta fucking deal with this. 
Oh. Ah, you piece of shit. You assholes. I hate they move so much. Oh my god. You bitch. Oh. Oh. There we go. One, two. There's more. There's more more. Y'all need to fucking stop. Okay. You know what I'm gonna switch to? I'm gonna switch the bomb out. I'm gonna switch to, uh... That one. Yeah, take that shit. And we're actually healing more than being poisoned. Not good. Great. Why? Because of our swallow potion. Ah. God damn. These guys take... So it's it's the running around. It's the running around. If they, if they didn't run so damn much, it'd be fine. It'd be easier to take them out. But, you know, such is how wildlife goes. <laughs> Alright, so this is our next our next spot, which is very interesting that there is smoke coming out of this little, little hut. Person or persons in distress. Alright, time to be the hero. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh god. Well, There you go. Ah. Oh. You'll never learn. Ooh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Y'all chill. Shall be out. Oof. Let's go. Ah. There's only one more of you. Yeah? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Listen, Buckthorn. Thought I was done for. Yeah. Neon's always open to you. Master Topical. It's a hell of a name. Can I, can I, can I talk with you? Can we, can we, can we speak? No? Are we in the right spot? I don't think I am. I don't think I went far enough. Nope. Wait. Yes? I think so. I'm nearby. Cover all that. He's inside. He's an herbalist, so I kind of want to talk to him anyway. What's up? Doing all right now? Thanks again. I'd have been minced me if it's not for you. Name's Philibert Topical, but everyone calls me Master T. What do you think you need? Shrooms? A bit of herb, perchance? Master T. Show me what you got. An herbalist with the name Topical. That's great. That's great. Well done. I know I need ergo seeds. I don't think we can make anything else right now. Because I need ergo seeds for making 
something. The hell was it? Did I not need them? Oh no, I needed Ergo Seeds, it's right. Because I needed to make Rebus again. Yeah. Got it. Okay, yeah. I also gotta make a shopping trip to go get enough stuff to make White Gull. Like four times. So long. At the end of the day, that's all we need. Okay. So, I'm just gonna reach my marker so it goes away. Uh. We're, we're nearby. We are... This is it. I just, uh... I overshot a little bit, but it was worth it, because we got another herbalist. The more herbalists we have, the better. Obviously, the more you get earlier in the game, definitely the better, but... Still. Now, I've almost got all... Almost crafted everything. I know um, some of you guys brought it up too, like the so sometimes you can't get certain uh, mutagens if you spare the monsters. Like, for instance, the Doppler one. Because we spared the Doppler in the city, technically, um, we, we weren't able to get the mutagen that we could have gotten if we had actually killed him, unfortunately. However, we're better than that, but there hasn't been any other Dopplers that we, uh, that we go to kill. So... I don't know if I'm just, like, not going to have that decoction, or if there is, like, a rope Doppler somewhere I could find. Nice. Got the, r the range of whirl with this is just great. There you go. There you go. Have a rest. And then, um... I know since I since I uh, posted the... The, uh... Question about... Um... Some builds... On the channel. You guys have given incredible feedback about that. Uh... One thing, specifically... No, I cannot craft another greater red mutagen because I, in all of my hunting, can't, just can't get another lesser red one to drop. I just need one. And I can craft the, uh, the red one, and then I'll have three of those to make another greater one. So I literally just need one red mutagen to drop. That's it. <laughs> but... I just can't. Can't get it for some reason. Oh. Yo, we got another side quest. Holy shit. Nicholas Vogel's laboratory notebook. It's a fragment of his notebook. I've acquired the eggs. They cost a fortune and left me with barely enough funds to pay the rent for my laboratory. Laboratory. But now I can begin my work in earnest. I'll soon show those pea-brained admirals of ours that airborne armies are the future of warfare. And that and the first such army shall be my creation and shall proudly bear the name of the Redanian Air Force. Oh boy. Okay, he's this guy's ahead of his time. They've hatched. Never seen harpies so tiny, and dare I say, cute. They've got no they have no bosoms yet but do have enormous heads and equally enormous appetites, bird-like, through and through. He... So those were his harpies. 
I killed his air force. Oh no. From the ground. I mean, that's pretty crazy though that he got... He's acquired the eggs. And what well, he's doing like... He's like creating specific harpies. My first attempts at taming them have brought promising results. The young harpies eat out of our hands and sometimes eat our hands as well. My assistant's already lost two fingers. Oh. Oh, he's try... Got it. He's trying to, like... Domest not domesticate them, but, like, kind of... Yeah, get them to obey. The elder men of Heddle came skittering into our tower, desperately bawling about spiders plaguing in his village, begging for our help, weeping for their picked-upon livestock and offspring who suffered the most from the arachnoid's bites. Humph. One swarm of mindless eating machines preying on another? How dare he interrupt my work on the Wonder Waff for such ban banalities. Instead of the arachnocide he requested, I gave him a bottle of arachnomorph pheromones. Won't he be in for a surprise? But do the peasants not say spiders and snakes a happy home make? I'm sure I've heard s them say something of the sort. What? So instead of arachnocide, which would kill them, he gave him a bottle of arachnomorph pheromones. That's so fucked up. So he just gave him a bottle that's gonna just make more of them come. All for interrupting his research. Wow, what a dick. Our funds are nearly exhausted. I shall be forced to take something from the rainy day stash I hid from Hubert in the top floor of the tower. The bulk of our overflow goes toward the purchase of pork, which the harpies devour in gargantuan quantities. Perhaps if we were to dress up Dress one up in Redanian armor now and present it at court. The king himself would become our patron? No, no, no. The entire squadron must be present. Else Radovid will deem the whole undertaking a farce. It seems our harpies have grown tired of pork. I found the scraps of Hubert's overalls in one of their cages. Not a great loss. Hubert had already lost eight fingers feeding them. Couldn't even grip a broom. That's so... That's so fucked up. Oh my god. Not just he lost eight fingers. Like, he just has his two thumbs. That's it. That's all he has left. Theoretically. And it's like... And then he... Then... He says no great loss. It's just like... Man, the scientists here... Are just... Heartless in the face of progress. Cat catastrophe has struck. Someone opened all the cages and let out the harpies. I'm sure I'll find them wheezing their last in the grass outside the tower. After all, no one has fed them for a week. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Uh. Well, so they've been eating fine down here. What the fuck? Oh my god. Good lord. Jeez, that is... It's both disgusting and, like, that's horrible. And they're eating fine because they're eating everybody else. Ron Drump's account book. Mainly consists of calculations and notes concerning the management of real estate in Oxford, Novigrad, and the surrounding region with comments scrolled in the space between entries. A man named Nicholas Vogel showed up at our office and introduced himself as a biologist. The fellow made a bad impression on me from the start. Short, thin with a hunchback, spectacles thick as wine bottles perched on his nose. Had to grin and bear it though, for he was willing to pay generously. And in sp and in species? To rent the tower. Oh, or species. It's species. First three months delivered in advance. Wow. Oh, this is the guy. Right? Nicholas is the, the one who's starting all this. 
The owner agreed, so what could I do? But I was curious about this biologist and wanting, wanted to learn what he wanted a whole tower for. He was cagey at first, then let slip, giddy with excitement that he planned to rear harpies. You don't rear harpies, I cried. But he retorted that he'd soon change that, and his tamed, tower-bred harpies would prove their use in warfare. Sure, I can see it already. Winged vermin donning the Redanian red, flying off all in a row. <laughs> I swear, if I've ever heard a bigger load of rubbish, my name ain't Ron Drump. A few pages have been ripped out and pecked. Vol was late with the rent. Paid the first three months up front, and since, not a peep. He's going to force me to get off my arse and go hound him for it. At the tower now, not a trace of Harpy to be found. The learned Gents here, though. Thing is, he's dead. Something vicious sliced open his gut and dragged his innards all over the room. And that's not the worst part. In the workshop's back room, there's an open cellar filled with half-eaten human corpses. The stank of death's unbearably strong fills the whole tower. Don't give a don't, don't give a rat's arse anymore about the rent he owes. I'm getting the blazes out of here before something gets me too. Well, my guy, this was this was a terrible thing. So I wonder was Vogel bringing in the bodies or like, I mean, I I wouldn't put it past him. The guy seems like a total piece of work, you know. Like he really, uh, he really didn't give a shit if other people died, if anybody died, or got hurt. Guy literally lost eight fingers. Like, he, st he already- he lost two at the beginning, but then he just kept having him feed them. Like, he didn't give a shit. So... Terrible. Like, actually. <laughs> can I... Can I... Can I... Can I... Geralt? 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 There we go. All right, hip hip hop. It's in here somewhere. I know it is. It's got to be. It's in one of these rooms, one of these floors. Probably at the top. Okay. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, your, uh, your tower bred harpies. It's a really dumb idea. Like, oh my god. The one guy tried to tell him. Just like, you don't, they're, they have their instincts. Like, you can't, you can't, like, you can't really breed that out of them. Oh look, there's a, there's a wyvern flying around. Oh, it was all the way at the top. <laughs> there it is, we got him. Hell yeah. And we completed the quest. Oh. There it is, new moon trousers. Still good because, what is it, uh... The whole thing is like bonus gold. Bonus gold. Like the whole set. It basically just encourages you to make money. So we got the armor, the pants, and the boots. We just need the gloves. We're just missing the gloves. So let's go get the gloves. And then after that, I think we've, uh, I think we've got everything. Obviously. If not, or if there's anything else you guys think we should do before blood and wine, sound off in the comments. <laughs> and, uh, we'll get it done.
but I feel pretty good that we were obviously this isn't this isn't necessary like what we're doing this is completely optional this is like a side thing you know it's extra but it's nice to have <laughs> so yeah that's so weird that this is uh Philip is hideout but we can still we can sense the portals underground now off to the last location to get the gloves okay all right we're here this weaving oh oh god ghouls everywhere okay it's a ghoul nest <laughs> There we go, get him. And guarded treasure. Whoa, where's the other one? Oh my god, okay. Just popping out of the ground. Like daisies. Okay. Oh my god, seriously. Girl, <laughs> take out your sword. Ugly bastard. Oh. Jeez, good lord. Alright. Where's the other one? right there. A little too much damage. There we go. Alright. Wait, did I just pick up a lesser red? Is that it? Oh my god. That could possibly be it. I'll look at it afterwards. After we take care of all this. That might have been it. I might have... We might have just got the drop. Okay. Alright. Everything's fine. Let's go to that guarded treasure. Well, ain't this fancy. What do we got? A nice tomb. Go ahead and just, uh... Yeah, they don't need them anymore. There it is! Ah, yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet. We got them all. Winds howling. Winds howling. Gotta make sure the sun's out. That we, we can properly appreciate... This, this beautiful set. That's the whole thing. Look at that. I know it looks like, just like the other one. But still, goddamn, it looks good. Looks damn good. And I'm sorry, it looks great with the glasses. It really does. It works. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. Goddamn. Hell yeah. Okay. Now, if that was right. It was. So I can do this. And I can create the second greater red mutagen. Let's go. Hell yeah. Now we finally have two of those. I know, like, literally talked about not having it, like, minutes ago. And now. Now we do. But, in just enough room to not be overburdened by all of our, us carrying, like, three entire armor sets around. 
Uh, man. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty sure that's that's it. At least that's everything I can think of. Like realistically. So 100%. Let me know if there's anything else you guys think we should do. Oh, this is the village that he screwed over. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yep, it is. Where he brought all the arachna, arachna, arachna pheromones. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay. All right. Ugh. We might fight it. Wow, you bitch. Okay. We'll put that away. That's right. Get fucking wrecked. Where's the rest of you? I see all the spiders over there hanging up. This is disgusting. And also, actually, a terrifying situation. I don't care. Like, your village starts coming under attack by these guys, and then suddenly you get the pheromones, and then more show up. Haunting. Truly. Actually traumatizing. If you even live. If you're even alive still. Alright. I'll do the right thing. Insectoid. Let's, let's go. It's a shame. You can't have a sword like uh, like Iris, but for uh, silver. That would be really cool. How you but. like that silver? Let's go. Fuck him up. We're gonna save this village. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Get out of here. All right, y'all got a lot of cleanup to do. Clean all this up. <laughs> that is disgusting. But that means we helped out the village. That was completely assaulted and doubly, doubly assaulted by spiders, arachnomorphs. Ugh, gross. But we helped them. And honestly, you know what? Feels good. I like I like that. Because this isn't the first time that that's happened. Um, well, not the spider thing. But where we're kind of introduced to a situation that happens. And we actually come across it. You know? Like, that's a pretty cool thing. Instead of it just being like, oh, the nearby village was burned down. And it's like, oh, that sucks, but then you go to the nearby village and it's fine. You know? And it's kind of just like for... Just to tell the story. Uh, whereas this one... It doesn't tell you where the village is. It just says, the nearby village. And then you just come across it and it's like, oh shit, is that that village? You know? Without it always having to be part of the quest or like to bring you there. It's just cool. It's cool because it happens a lot in this game and it just happened here. So, hell yeah. So let me know if there's anything else we should do <laughs> before Blood and Wine. And, uh, yeah. I know this this episode was very that in-between, right? It wasn't very... not a lot of story happened. There was a lot of crafting, a lot of running around. So, the next one, Blood and Wine. Let's do it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think and all your thoughts. We'll see you guys in the next video. The next Witcher. Where we begin blood and wine. Bye bye.